yes guys i'm back i'm back again okay i promised i was going to be going and coming back strong on this channel yes and that is what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to be doing a mixture of podcast graphics design business card design any business design you can think of that's what i'm going to be doing on this channel going forward so it's not just t-shirt design so please my loyal viewers if you followed me for my t-shirt content yes i'll still be doing some of this content but i'll be just going big you know just doing general graphics but majorly focus on t-shirt design podcast cover art and any other graphics but those are the two major so if this is something you're interested in make sure you stick around i don't want to waste your time on this so i'm going to go straight right to this one i'm going to be designing a podcast cover if you're just joining me for the first time i'll be designing a podcast cover on this particular episode of this video or series okay so i'm going to be doing something really simple like let me show you what i'm going to be doing i'm going to show you how to do and get this for yourself as you can see this is a simple podcast you might i'll just make a little twist to it but it's going to be similar so that you can see it for yourself and see how easy it is you can just look at samples and create something similar but different okay so that's what i'm going to be doing for this one going forward and let's start up by going to file new for podcast cover i would advise you do three inches by three okay oh sorry not three in pixel three thousand by three thousand okay that is the standard for podcast cover art design so you want to do that you might want to do white background it's up to you you want to my mind you might want to go without the background is still up to you okay so yes this is a live editing so you expect me to say things but please just follow me to the end so that you get 18 or two from this design if you enjoyed the audio let me know in the comments if you enjoy this audio or if you think the audio should be better let me know but if you enjoy the audio let me know the audio is super important to me and i know it's super important to you who is hearing from the other side okay so now that we have the white background you want to unlock this okay that is the first step sometimes i like to change the colors okay so i'll just come over to colors and just change it to that similar blue we found in our sample okay so we put that in there okay so to do this why well, i came to this white box i double tapped okay and it gave me this option i'm using photoshop as you can see came to color overlay clicked on it and then clicked on this box i moved over to my color palette and changed the color so that's how i did that next step we're going to bring in i had a design which i just downloaded okay from pixab so this is the design but before then i would like to take it into background remover software yes this is a good software to move background from images so if this is something if you want to help yourself out with you can use that okay so now we'll go to the picture go to the picture which should be this one all right now i'm going to drag it in to this browser tab and it's going to remove the background for me because i don't want that background on that image so it's going to remove the background all i'm going to do is to save it and move on to the next step it's going to take a bit of time but not so much of the time it's going to be removing the background as you can see it says removing background as you can see now the background is off so i can just click on download and it's going to download it for us as you've seen here so now we'll go back show folder and now we have it without the background as you can see this is one with the background and this is one without the background so you can see how good this site is with removing background from images all right so this is the one i need so now i'm going to take it onto my photoshop place it in there and i'm trying to make it bigger so to make it bigger i'll move my cursor to this edge press down my alter key button my shift key button my left mouse click button three of them down together and move my cursor outward just like that okay so you can see it's quite big yes because i want to create that effect we saw on that sample so i'm going to press enter okay now that i've pressed enter we have it there i can just move it 
just like so okay just like so so we are trying to create that effect we saw which i showed you okay this is what we are trying to create so trying to do something close to that so the next step is to bring in our shape all right so we'll do this one okay so bring in the shape it's yellow don't forget it's yellow so to change that all we have to do is to double tap here again and just click on that yellow all right so we have that yellow but i don't think the yellow is that bright so okay we have that one now selected okay go back as you can see so now that we have that selected um in frame you can see it adds some other edges but i don't want to have that edges instead i just want to make it have a curved lower or third edge so i'll just come here again press that down click on my polygon two and create a polygon shape like so so create a polygon shape to that edge press enter and just move that to the back okay all right so you see now i've moved that to the back i can make it smaller by pressing ctrl t moving my cursor to this edge and pressing alter key button shift key button left mouse key button dragging my mouse inward okay then i'll press enter again so it has given me that uniqueness in the shape i want for my own design all right as you can see that's giving me that unique shape i want okay so now i'm gonna group them ctrl g sorry sorry it's not i've not selected them so i have to select the two shapes before i group them so you see this is polygon one press down my alter key button and press down on this rectangle two and i'm gonna do ctrl g now that i have them grouped i'm gonna move my cursor to this edge double tap all right go to strokes and i'll try to push stroke because if we check the sample if we go back to check the sample you see we had some dark strokes on this edge which was also used as the kind of font so that's what we are trying to create here so now i'm just going to increase my own size the stroke size as you can see that's too much okay okay yes that's not bad at all so you can see how it is now the, for the color i'm just trying to get out of that total black because that's not what it is so it's something close to that but also note you can take colors from your image so it matches up like i can do this now okay and the stroke is going to match up with this design as you can see I can do something like that and just press OK. OK. So now we have that. Now we can just put in our text for this one. It says the future is good. OK. So we can do that and just go to text. I like to use simple text. OK. I like to use simple text and I would like to match it with that color again. So let's see what this text look like let me make it bigger first 24 font let's see the future okay this font looks so downplayed so i'll search for bbas new new so you see that font that's the font i like to use for things like this i like to use this particular font so i'm gonna make it bigger let's do 40 okay so you can see i have it big i'll just do ctrl t to increase it i've showed you how to do that so you can do that for yourself okay so it says the so i'm just going to copy this now so we just have this like so so to copy it i'm going to press my alt key button my left mouse key button and just drag it down so this one i'm going to say the future all right the future okay 
so you can see it so just move it down a bit so it says the future all right so let's see the future is good okay so we are gonna move again duplicate this alter key button left mouse key button drag down duplicate this so this one is gonna say it's good don't worry if it fills up your boxes we'll reduce it a bit later on so we'll do that we'll just move this like so okay so we'll do that again duplicate again and this time this one's gonna say good G O D. right yes i know you guys would have been wondering how it's off out of the box already yes i'll fix that don't worry about that so to fix that now all i have to do is to highlight all this one from the the future is good okay what i used to do that was control and just clicking on them so now i'll do control c and move my cursor to this edge press down my alter key button shift key button left mouse key button and just drag them into that box like so and press enter so now you can see i fixed that up right you can see i fixed that up already so i can just move it upward like so future is good so i can decide to just add some fun elements in here okay and just decide to add some fun, fun elements in here just to give it that chill okay just give it that chill all right okay so now we have that i'll just move it in to this shape okay my system is hanging but i think i can work this out okay so we'll just give it that shape duplicate it all right duplicate it again so it looks like it's going out all right so you can see i've put a twist on my own you can do this for yourself it's quite easy all you need to do is just follow me step by step and you should be able to do that for yourself so how did i duplicate it i just clicked on the first shape press down my control key and my left mouse key button and drag to duplicate okay so it's that it's simple then we add something below it w andrew ref so for this one i'm just gonna put in my own name okay or just let's put let's just put the w with a stroke okay that will be one and then we'll do that again and put a different name lee lee ben silu yes let's just give him that name so now we're gonna make that white okay so you see i highlighted it and i'll just come and pick the white color as simple as that so you can pick from here so now that we have that picked out we can just move it just here like so okay and we can do that for the w and if you notice the w add also white but then it was more like a faded first name so let's first move and change the color to white please follow me step by step if you miss the step you can go back now that we've, we've we've put that on white we can now go okay let's go check it out so you can see it's white you can click on the w slash then go to opacity and reduce that to 50 okay or 55 as you can see so now we've created that effect as you can see here that faded effect we've created it here so you can see how easy it is to create those simple designs so now i want to group this with names i want to group them together so i'm going to press my alter key button and click on the lily and do ctrl g and then i'm going to do ctrl c and make that 
a little bit bigger by pressing my outer key button, shift key button, left mouse click button and just making it bigger all right and i'll press enter and now you see we have the design ready for us so you can see it's quite easy to create this design i'm going to be making more series like this so if you're interested in podcast look postcard cover at design postcard cover please just make sure you subscribe if you've not done that already thanks for watching this one and i will see you on the next one stay safe